On Tuesday, April 24th, hundreds of demonstrators rallied at the Department of Justice in downtown Washington, demanding the immediate release of Mumia Abu-Jamal, considered by many to be a political prisoner, as well as calling for an end to mass incarceration in the United States. Mumia was convicted in the 1981 shooting death of a Philadelphia police officer and sentenced to death row in 1982. Mumia and many others have maintained his innocence, suggesting that he was set up by a Philadelphia police force that was already under federal investigation for corruption and widespread civil rights violations, with 15 of the 35 officers involved in the evidence collection in Mumia's case convicted and sentenced to jail on a number of misconduct charges. Activist and professor Joanna Fernandez has been involved with Mumia's case and helped to organize Tuesday's event. She says that the immediate focus of the Occupy action is to release Mumia, but that the long-term battle is to end mass incarceration in the United States criminal justice system and push for increased social spending. We are here to say that incarceration has nothing to do with solving the problems of American society. It has everything to do with putting people in their place, repressing people, and it's time for this to end. We want jobs, we want justice, we want education, we want health care, we do not want jails. Right now, the United States represents 5% of the world's population, but we incarcerate 25% of the world's prisoners. This in a nation that's obsessed with the idea of freedom. The question is why? Why is it that we incarcerate so many more people than uh, other nations around the world? We clearly don't have all the answers, and we're here to say that uh, we, we have to stand up for people like Mumia Abu-Jamal. Mumia Abu-Jamal was removed from death row in 2011 following a number of court appeals, but remains in prison for life without the possibility of parole. A number of performers also participated in Tuesday's rally, including activist and rapper Chuck D of Public Enemy and M1 of the revolutionary hip-hop duo Dead Prez. M1 explains that the demonstrators are not only demanding justice for Mumia, but for a number of other political prisoners and victims of police racism and violence. Well, behind me on the wall it says, this place is a place of hallowed justice. It should say th that, that this is a place of hollow justice. There's no justice. We're right in front of the injustice department because for over 40 years we've seen Mumia Abu-Jamal get no justice. We've seen Eddie Conway, we've seen Matula Shakur, we've seen Herman Bell, we've seen Jalil Munsakin and countless other colonial subjects shot down by the police department inside this country. No justice. So we're here today to demand that. The Occupy movement and uh, the understanding of what we have uh, at stake today uh, has permeated this particular event and we're occupying the Justice Department. Malik Rassan is the founder of Occupy the Hood, a grassroots organization started shortly after the inception of Occupy Wall Street that seeks to bring attention to the social pressures facing black and Latino communities. Malik explains how recent high-profile cases like the shooting death of Trayvon Martin and the emerging Occupy movement have brought in the discussion of everyday issues facing black communities that they have been organizing around for decades. You know, a lot of people say that the Mumia case is broad, or the Trayvon case is broad, or the Ramali Graham case is broad. It's, it's every day for us. So the fact that one takes precedent over another, for example, if we were to free Mumia Abu-Jamal, that would open up cases for so many others. So I, I really don't have an issue with names like Trayvon or names like Ramali Graham taking the forefront because I mean, it's regular for us. I mean, Trayvon is not new to us. It's been happening, and we're kind of happy that it's brought to the forefront because for a long time it's just been, it's been hidden. After the Department of Justice headquarters rally, protesters marched through the streets of downtown before arriving to the White House, where two dozen activists were arrested in an act of civil disobedience. Activists are organizing a project they are calling Liberation Summer, which aims to mobilize around issues of criminalization and mass incarceration affecting poor communities of color and immigrants. This is David Doherty with The Real News Network.